Well, good morning, happy Saturday. Welcome back to the vlog. So, good news. We were at the hospital and my daughter's in labor. So, here's the second half of the waiting game. So, I will be checking back in. More than likely, this vlog will not go up until Sunday, but just to let you guys know, yes, we're finally in labor. See you in a bit. Hi, family. I am back. I am back, and I'm so excited. So as you can see, I am now officially a Nana. And I don't know, I, I'm telling you, my heart is so full right now to, you know, witness another life coming into the world is one of those hard, hard to describe things. It was really amazing. Um, and to me, she looks like a combination of my daughter and my son when they were little babies and a little bit more like my son when he was a first born. So she is gorgeous. She's perfect. Um, I don't think she's going to last a newborn clothes too long because she's pretty big. She's a little over seven pounds, 19 inches long and just, just perfect. Just perfect. So, um, yeah, we have been waiting and waiting and waiting and she finally came. So I'm I'm not gonna dwell on it too much, but I am I'm I'm, I'm so excited I'm excited. Um, some more updates. Let's see here. I pulled up on my computer my steps. So as you guys know, I have been a part of Derek's um Derek's Journey Step Challenge, and um. Although I haven't quite been pulling numbers I did in the past, I still have been kicking butt. I'm still, you know, getting those getting those steps in. Um, so for the week of, let me look at it. Sep I'm saying September. <sighs> October 15th through the 21st. I'm was sitting at 214,066 steps. So that's not too shabby, you know. Um, let's see. Everything has been going well, but I have been mainly focused, you know, since I was been here with my daughter the last almost week, you know, more concentrated on her, but everything has been going really well with my eating. Um, I have not been to the gym like I've wanted to, but I plan to get back to that. And I just might wait till I get back home to really get back and focus onto that. Um, because I really want to spend a lot of time with my grandbaby. I really do. And I'm, I know I'm going to miss her. I'm going to miss my daughter. It's going to be really hard for me. So I kind of want to, you know, spend every minute with them. But I've been getting my walking in, definitely getting my walking in. You guys have been seeing it. I've been taking you with me on my walks. The neighborhoods here are just, just lovely and wonderful. It's been nice and warm. So I've been able to get out and do quite a bit of walking. Um, let's see, as far as tracking, I have been tracking my food, not as strict as I wanted to, but I'm going to get back to it. Um, the last couple of days has been kind of iffy. Um, there may have been a couple of things I didn't kind of get in only because, um, I wasn't at kind of like my home base to do all that stuff and measuring and all that crap. But other than that, the tracking has been going really well. Um, can I think of any other updates? Um, as you guys know, it is the winding down time. Um, pretty soon I will be leaving to go back to my home state in Washington. I'm not looking forward to it. It is cold and dreary there. Um, and it's like that, I want to say, nine to 10 months out of the year. So <laughs> I, 
Uh, my goal, now, my goal is to get out here every other month for a, a couple of days to spend with my daughter and my granddaughter. So, um, I'm just going to make that happen. It's, it is what it is. So, that's basically almost all my updates. Um, let's see. Yeah, because I did vlog a little bit when I got to the hospital with my my um, daughter. That was early in the morning on, wait a minute, Saturday. Yes, early in the morning on Saturday. Um, the day before, I think she had started having very light contractions, very faint. Um... And later on that night, she didn't get me up, but she was having severe contractions. And then it just got to the point where it was just really, really painful. And it was just making her sick and nauseous. She was actually vomiting. Um, she got me up around five, five something. And I hopped up, got myself together. I hopped in the shower, like, okay, I got to shower really quick get myself together and we headed out to the um, hospital and her one of her biggest fears was she wanted to be dilated enough so if you get there even though you're having contractions if you're not dilated enough sometimes they'll send you back home she did not want to be sent back home but luckily when she got there she was yeah about maybe five centimeters and you have to get to ten so um, I guess and when you think about it and all, she was probably in labor, you know, granted if some of it was light labor until the baby was born, probably a good, maybe 20 hours maybe, but most of that was some light labor um, because by the time we got to the hospital, actually we got there maybe about six something. And she, I dropped her off. I went and found parking, brought all the bags up. Of course, we overpacked. My God, we had three huge bags. Yeah. But so by the time I got up there, she had already got back. They had triaged her. Um, about an hour and a half later, they had already gave her an epidural. About 30, 40 minutes later, I was able to go back there and stay with her the rest of the time. Um, until the baby came. So it would, I, you know, it went as smoothly as it could have went. Um, she, yes, she was in a lot of pain, but she did a wonderful job, a wonderful job. So, uh, again, my heart is just so full and overflowing from all of it. Um, yeah, gratitude, gratitude and just on top of the world right now. Um, Let's see. I think that's basically almost all the updates. Um, I'm going to try to have as business as usual, but I'm a new Nana. And there will be occasions I'm going to talk about my little grandbaby because I'm proud. So just bear with me. If it's too much, just put in the comments. You're going off track. That's too much. And I'll rein it in. Um so yeah, that's about all my updates. Um, eating went well, tracking went well, getting in my movement went well. Again, I didn't get to the um, gym as much as I wanted to, but um, I may put that on a little bit of hiatus until I actually get back, like I said, to home base um, and get myself on a good schedule. Of course, I'm going to have to work that in along with getting back to work. Because I'm going to have to go back to the office because they have mandated that I be in the office at least two days a week. Now, it's still up in the air with those two days a week, whether it has to be all day. But my guess is with me just coming back from being gone for a year, they might want me there for all day with trainings and blah, blah, blah for a little while. And then it could probably taper off to not being there all day. And... I'm kind of leaning towards my days to go in to be Tuesday and Wednesday only because 
I think Tuesdays and Wednesdays is when we have kind of like little meetings and stuff. So that would make more sense for me to be in the office those days. So, yeah, that is my update for the week. I know this is coming to you a little bit late because I was, you know, I was in the hospital. This lighting, I'm sorry. I was in the hospital um, yesterday. So this is going to be coming out on a Sunday. And I hope all of you are doing well. Um, yeah. So I will be seeing you guys again, actually, starting on Monday to pick everything back up again. Alrighty. See you later.